obviously your biggest success has been Ilia, and people are watching what happens to date. To date, um, and people are watching what happens with Ilia and its next indication for diabetic eye disease, for diabetic right. blindness. The drug really took off like a rocket. How? I mean, when are, at Wall Street is obviously nervous. When are you going to reach? a saturation sure. point in the current market for age-related macular degeneration, and how much do you think DME can add? Right. So you never know when you're going to saturate a given market. We've, got, we've only got 25% of the market share in the United States, substantially less outside the United States. So there's plenty of room to grow, and the market itself is growing. Even if you saturate your market share and hit some sort of equilibrium down the road, you still the market can still grow. But in addition, the indications are very important. You mentioned diabetic macular edema, di uh, eye disease, which is you know a, a terrible disease. They, remember, there's about 25 million uh, Americans who have diabetes. Maybe up to a million of them have diabetic macular edema, which is the most common cause of blindness in diabetics, and frankly, one of the most common causes of blindness in young people. So, w we believe that this is a big opportunity. You know. A lot of people like to think that they can predict these markets. We can't. We know that the number of patients suggests it's a very large market. It could be as large or even larger than um, the market for macular degeneration. But at the end of the day, until we get out there selling, we don't know. We hope we'll have a differentiated product that will make a difference to patients and doctors and people want to use it much like they did uh, for macular degeneration. But we'll see. But remember, the secret of success in this business is to always assume that that's yesterday's news. I mean, we're going to try and optimize right. this, but we got to think about our cholesterol drug, we got to think about our asthma drug, our atopic, atopic dermatitis drug, our cancer uh, drugs, et cetera.